Okay, let's talk about eighth grade math. And specifically, we're going to talk about three math skills that you really want to make sure uh, you understand and you have mastered at the eighth grade level. And this is going to set you up for success for future math courses like pre-algebra and algebra one. So again, eighth grade math. Now, uh, somebody out there uh, might be watching this video. Maybe you are 30, 40 years old, 50, 60 years old, whatever the case might be. And maybe you didn't even finish the eighth grade. Maybe you got a GED later down in life. Uh, my father, actually, I think he only went through like the seventh grade and then he joined the army uh, when he was 17 years old. And by the time uh, he was 18, <laughs> actually, why he was 17, he was actually in the Korean War. So that's how they used to do it way back in those days. He didn't really have, you know, a huge education requirement to go into the military. So, uh, but here's the thing, though. You know, even like my dad, he got his GED and then, you know, he did fine later down in life. So what I'm trying to get, uh, the point I'm trying to make is if you didn't finish your formal education, that has nothing to do with your current potential. I'm probably already telling you something you already know. And if you're like, boy, I want to go back and, you know, relearn this stuff, or, you know, uh, maybe you are in eighth grade, maybe you're a parent of an eighth grader. Listen, I'm here to tell you that uh, the eighth grade is pretty important. All right. Uh, you know, we're all focused on algebra and all that kind of stuff. But if you don't get the, these three skills right in the eighth grade at the eighth grade level, the middle school level, you're going to have a tough time. But if you get these right, you're going to really set yourself up nicely for success. So I want to talk about these three specific math skills in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you're having a tough time in math, or maybe you want to go back and relearn a lot of math, well, you know, the key is this. One, you need to want, you need to uh, have the desire and work ethic. Uh, you know, you got to be willing to work hard and study hard to learn math. That's not going to change no matter what. But the second part of the formula for success for math is instruction. You need a teacher that you like and understand, and I believe I can be that teacher for you. I've been teaching math for decades, and I do not teach like a textbook. I really focus in on explaining math in super clear and understandable ways so anyone and everyone can learn this stuff. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level in terms of mathematics, please check out my math help um, program. It will definitely help you out. Now, if you happen to be preparing for a test that has a math section on it, I am talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, uh, Accuplace or CLEP exam, maybe a teacher cert uh, certification exam. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, we were just voted number one, or our, our math courses were voted number one for the middle and high school math category by a major homeschool publication, national publication. We're very proud of that achievement. And if you don't have any math notes, I'm gonna leave links to my math notes in the description uh, of this video. But if you happen to be a math student, okay, the secret to getting great grades is by uh, taking great math notes. Okay, so let's get into these three specific skills. Uh, very, very important. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk about them right now. Now, the first thing is this. You're going to continue to practice these skills beyond the eighth grade, and you probably learned a little bit uh, about these skills prior to the eighth grade. But the eighth grade, okay, after you finish eighth grade math, uh, for the most part, most students are going to be going into pre-algebra. And pre-algebra, it sounds like a course that you take prior to learning algebra, Right. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Right. It's like pre algebra. So you got one more course before you take algebra. Well, that's not really true. In pre algebra, you really are learning algebra. OK, it is, it is your first real formal um, algebra course. It's just not as, uh, in, let's say, as demanding of what you're going to be learning, like, let's say, in high school algebra. But you are learning algebra. So the eighth grade is kind of your last truly uh, middle school level arithmetic uh, related type of course. So let's take a look at these uh, three skills. Super important. If you get these down, you're going to be very uh, uh, prepared to be successful in pre-algebra and any course beyond that. Okay. All right. So the first one is fractions. I know everyone doesn't uh, get thrilled when they see fraction problems, but I'm telling you right now, you have to 
master fractions. So what do you need to know about fractions? Well, you're going to need to know how to add fractions. You need to, you're going to have to know how to subtract fractions. You're going to need to know how to multiply fractions and divide fractions. You're going to know how to uh, find the LCD. You're going to have to know about mixed number fractions, uh, all that good stuff. Just become uh, like master fractions to the best of your ability. They're not going away. You're going to see a lot of them. And you've been studying fractions, you know, when you get the eighth grade level, you've been studying them year after year after year, just a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. But you really, at this point, at the eighth grade level, you should be able to handle uh, pretty much any uh, fraction problem. Another thing in here, too, is how to reduce fractions. So there's a lot to know in the area of fractions. Now, I'm going to give you a suggestion if you um, are reviewing um, you know, right now, if you're looking at doing some uh, math review, you always say, oh, okay, fractions, how do I get, how do I learn fractions? Well, a couple of suggestions. One, I have tons of videos on um, fractions in my pre-algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. Definitely want to check those out. Actually, they have millions of views, some of my <laughs> videos. So there's a lot of people looking for uh, fraction help. Uh, but if you really, really want to learn this stuff, I'm going to give you two courses in my math help program that I would recommend. The first I would uh, recommend is my pre-algebra course, but I also have a math foundations course, which goes even to, even to more basic math, like uh, how to multiply numbers, divide numbers, just basic arithmetic. So that's called my math foundations course. You can find all that in the middle in high school math category in my math help program. But uh, uh, that course or my pre-algebra course would be excellent reviews for these uh, topics that I'm talking about. Okay, so fractions. If you can become an expert at fractions, you're going to be in super good shape. All right, the next thing is positive and negative numbers. A lot of students confuse this, okay? How do you uh, multiply, let's say, negative 3 times a positive 2? Or how do you divide uh, negative 10 divided by negative 5? This is actually easy. But it's also easy to mess up, okay? You can't be guessing. You've got to really master this stuff. So how to multiply, how to divide, and how to add and subtract positive and negative num uh, numbers. Very, very, very important. Just like fractions. Fractions are not going away in algebra. You're just going to see more of them. And uh, you're going to see a ton of positive negative numbers all the time. And you're also going to see positive and negative fractions. You're going to be dealing with things like negative two-thirds plus a positive one seventh. So, you know, it starts to kind of compound on itself, right? So again, uh, fractions and positive negative numbers, hugely important. You're going to see this constantly. All right. So what is this last one here? Okay. So I kind of uh, have it written as PEMDAS. That should mean something to you. And this is the order of operations. Okay. So this is the order of operations. Okay. So P stands for parentheses first. And by the way, this little um, mnemonic, a little A that goes along, that's to, uh, most people were taught this little phrase or something like it. So that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay. So that's one way to rem uh, remember it, but it, it's the order of operations. So the P stands for parentheses. The E stands for exponents or power. And then we have uh, multiplication, division, and addition and subtraction. I'm not going to try to teach you all of this and uh, or teach you these things in this video. I'm just telling you these skills you need to know. And a lot of students make um, uh, errors with this. They don't know this as well as they think they know it. Okay, so again, I have videos on my YouTube channel that I go over this stuff and I thoroughly teach this stuff in those two courses that I met. But uh, this is the order, again, of operations. Now, what are we talking about? mathematical operations. Well, let's let's take a look at a problem like this, okay? And uh, I'm just making something up here. Okay, so let's say in this particular problem, I got to do, all, uh, there's a lot of different mathematical operations, okay? A mathematical operation is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and like powers, okay? It's things I can do with two numbers. I can like, you know, add them up or I can subtract them, etc. So that's what an operation is. So the order is, well, what order do we do first? Because if we take different orders, if we divide or if we multiply, then 
do that first? Well, that's going to be a different answer than if I divide first. Okay, you could just do these problems on your own. I can come up with all kinds of answers depending on what order I do these operations in. So this PEMDAS tells me, it's a checklist, do these uh, do a problem like this with various operations in it in this specific order. You gotta really, really understand this stuff, okay? So again, here we have division, multiplication, subtraction, we got a fraction bar, we got a, another uh, subtraction, and we have a power. So what's the order we need to do this in? Well, that is PEMDAS, that's the order of operations. You got to know this, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up at this point. If you understand the order of operations super good, and by the way, you can have negative numbers in here, and you can have fractions as well. So it can get quite compl complicated with, from like a, at an arithmetic level. We haven't even done anything with algebra and variables, okay? So you can see, you know, you, you got to give, uh, you know, eighth grade math, middle school uh, math its due respect. You are doing a lot of, you know, um, uh, you know, this requires a lot of focus, let's say, and knowledge and skills to be successful with arithmetic at this level, okay? So order of operations, positive negative numbers, and fractions, you master all three of these things here, you're going to be sitting very, very nice for your next math class, which is likely going to be pre-algebra or maybe even an Algebra 1 course. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this uh, video up. If this was helpful, if you're like, oh, okay, that sounds like a good uh, set of suggestions. Listen, I'm only, you know, been teaching this stuff for years and years and years and decades and decades. I'm teaching you from experience. I'm not telling you anything that uh, isn't, you know, uh, backed up by tons and tons and tons of experience, okay? So follow me on this, all right? Just like my suggestion on taking great math notes, if you just you know, have a little faith in what I'm saying. You're gonna be, you're gonna be um, happy that you uh, found me, and I'm happy that you found this video. And hopefully, you'll consider subscribing to my channel. But before you do that, go ahead and make sure to like this uh, video if this helped you out. And if you do subscribe, you're gonna find I have over a thousand plus math videos. Been on YouTube for 10 plus years, so I teach from basic math all the way up to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, okay, please take advantage of my content, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.